What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we're taking a look at this case which is NZXT's Phantom 630. It's more or less like the little brother to the Phantom 820. So let's just go ahead and check it out. Taking a look at the case, you can see that we received the gunmetal version, but it also comes in matte black as well as white. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the front of the case. So you have that same Phantom design that you're normally used to seeing. Um, looks really, really great. The front is pretty much all flush, so it looks really good. And of course, you do have a door on the front, so we go ahead and open that up. And inside, you have one, two, three, four, five and a quarter inch base, and you do have a small SD card slot right up here. Um, these do have the easy release latches as well, so they're really easy to take off. Below that, you have a very large ventilated section, and in front of that, um, or behind that, I mean, is a 200 millimeter intake fan. And along the bottom of the case is your fan filter here. So we can go ahead and take that out. You can see how long it is. That means it's gonna stretch across pretty much the entire bottom of the case, and it's just as easy to put back in just like that. At the top of the case, you're gonna find all of your connections, buttons, and some other things. So starting on the right side, you have a very large power button, reset button, and you do have a fan uh, controller here, and it has three settings. You have high, medium, and low. can easily be switched um, just like that. And on this side, you have all of your connections. So you have microphone, headphone, two USB 2.0 ports, and two USB 3.0 ports. The rest of the top of the case has a pretty cool design. Um, you can see there is a large ventilated section right here, and this kind of has openings as well to be ventilated. There is an included 200 millimeter fan, and you can actually fit another 200 millimeter fan over here. Taking a look at the side panel, you can see it's split into two different sections. So you have an open window right here. So that's gonna allow you to see you know, your CPU cooler and your motherboard and things like that. Below here is a large ventilated section. In here, you're gonna have another 200 millimeter cooling fan. Taking a look at the back of the case, you have a 140 millimeter exhaust fan. Now, just like all the other NZXT cases, there's these little slits here that allow you to move the fan up or down depending on where you want it. This spot also supports a 120 millimeter fan. Of course, you have all your expansion slots, some more ventilation over here. Power supply is gonna be mounted on the bottom, and there is another filter down there, a smaller one um, compared to the front. Easily comes out, and you can put it right back in. And of course, you have thumb screws on both side panels. Moving inside the case, we can see that NZXT has continued their gunmetal theme. It just looks really good, and it's gonna be a nice backdrop on all of your components. Starting up top, you have your five, or four or five and a quarter inch bays, and they're actually using a metal locking system as opposed to, say, a plastic one. Of course, we're gonna see how well this works in our installation video, but it feels very solid. They feel really good. Moving down, you have three hard drive cages. Um, the top cage supports three hard drives, the middle cage supports two, and the bottom one supports one. All of the hard drive cages do have trays that pull out. They actually pull out from the opposite side, and they support two and a half inch and three and a half inch hard drives. These cages can also be removed completely, so you can take all three out. You can move them over to this section right here, actually. So if you have, you know, you want to put water cooling here or something like that, or you have extremely long video card, you know, you can take these, these out and move them over. Where the power supply sits, there are feet that lift it up off the bottom of the case that's gonna provide better airflow. Of course, we have our expansion slots, 140 millimeter fan and 200 millimeter top fan. As far as cable routing holes, you have quite a lot. Ones that have the rubber inserts, you have one, two, three, four of those, and they are extremely large. You also have a couple other ones and openings. You have the CPU cut out as well, and all of these edges are rounded, so that means you're not gonna cut yourself as well as your cables when you're routing everything. This case does support up to XL ATX motherboards, and it's one of the only cases that supports up to 280 millimeter radiators as well. I've taken the opposite side panel off the case just so you can see how everything is laid out. Now the things that really jump out to me about the back side of the case, first off are the two hard drive trays right here. So 
This supports a two and a half inch drive, so they can be completely behind your motherboard, completely out of the way, um, and it gives you actually more room for hard drives, which of course, you know, if you're loading up your system with drives, you want the most possible. So these actually are easily removable with the two thumb screws. You can pull them out, install your drive, and you're pretty much good to go. Of course, you have your fan hub here, um, which supports three pin fans, and it's a central location, so you can plug everything into this, and this, of course, plugs into power. As I said, all of the hard drive trays come out from this side of the case, so we can take one out here. And the only thing that I don't like about them as much is they are a little flimsy compared to other hard drive cages, but they do support, again, two and a half inch and three and a half inch hard drives. And they go in pretty easily um, and lock just like that into place. There is quite a lot of room behind the motherboard tray, well over an inch, so you're not gonna have a single issue routing all your cables and getting the side panel to fit back on. And another cool thing is, normally we see an opening right here for your top cables, especially your CPU power cable, but it's actually, all of the openings are actually up under the top of the case. So the top of the case goes like this and the holes are actually sort of right there. It's really good. I'm ex I'm kind of excited to see how well that actually works and how easy it is going to be to route my cables. But that is basically it guys for the Phantom 630 from NZXT. Make sure you check back very soon as we'll have our installation video as well as our full written review on Think Computers. Remember guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.